Japanese scientists have done something seemingly impossible. They have made male mice develop egg cells. The research is quite impressive and offers a glimpse of a far future where two biological male humans could potentially have a biological birth. And not just that, this was done with stem cells, demonstrating the true potential of what stem cells can truly do, which is they can even convert male XY to female XX cells by dropping chromosomes. Everything begins at the stem cell level for the human body. They are kind of like the body's raw product. Stem cells are the ones from which all other types of cells develop, such as brain cells, skin cells, even egg cells, and so on. There are some stem cells that go on to become only very specific type of cells. Male and female gametes, which are sperm and oocytes or eggs, are produced from a type of stem cells known as primordial germ cells. These cells then develop or differentiate to form gametes. But they can do so only when sex chromosomes, XX or XY, are properly functional. This means that there are functioning sex-specific chemicals that get released from the surrounding gonads of these stem cells. This has actually in fact been a stumbling block in research. This is not the first time that researchers have tried to change the biological sex of primordial germ cells. There have been experiments in the past, but these past experiments have always resulted in either a very low production of gametes, which is sperm or egg cells, or they produced gametes that had a very low fertility. This current team of Japanese researchers tried to address this problem by using a type of stem cells called pluripotent stem cells. Pluripotent stem cells have the unique ability to become other kinds of cells. They can even become other types of stem cells. When these pluripotent stem cells are isolated, they can be cultured and grown in the lab. These are then kept in this stage known as the embryonic stem cell stage and these in the lab are used for therapeutic purposes as these cells can then be grown into other types of cells that can be helpful for various different humans. Such pluripotent stem cells not only exist naturally, they can also be engineered. Adult somatic cells, which are skin or blood cells, can be genetically modified and reprogrammed to stay in an embryonic-like stem cell state. These modified adult cells are also pluripotent and they can develop into other cells. Such type of modified stem cells are called induced pluripotent stem cells and these were also used in this Japanese experiment to produce more durable and fertile egg cells. So for this experiment, the researchers used cells from the tail of a sexually mature adult mouse, a male mouse. These cells of course had XY chromosomes and these were the ones that were converted into induced pluripotent stem cells. These cells were then grown in a culture and sometimes in rare cases when there is this cycle of growth and replanting to fresh culture again and then growth and then replanting to another fresh culture. Once in a while, the Y chromosome gets degraded and some XO chromosomal cells are produced. These XO cells, as the name indicates, have only a single X chromosome and nothing. In live animals, such XO cells are a part of a genetic disorder, but in this experiment, they were necessary. There weren't a lot of XO cells that were formed in the experiment. In all of these cultures, just about 5-6% to of cultured cells form these XO cells. Then these cells are treated with a drug called reversine, which interferes with the process of cell division. When two XO cells replicate, they then end up forming more XX cells. This process resulted in more and more X chromosomes getting duplicated, and some of these resulting cells did have two X chromosomes. And these cells were then programmed to develop or differentiate into primordial germ cells. 
These then went on to produce eggs and when these eggs were fertilized with a wild type sperm and implanted into a mouse uterus, it produced viable offspring. This process was not easy and the researchers did not end up with like thousands of tiny lab rats and unique mice. Only 1% of the implanted embryos gave rise to pups. This was about 7 in 630 embryos only. It's not a lot, but it is still something. This work is going to be pivotal in opening up new avenues of research into therapeutics for genetic disorders that involve an abnormal number of chromosomes. But of course, it isn't without disadvantages at this stage. The efficiency of this process of generating oocytes or egg cells from male cells is very low at this stage and this would be extremely tough and expensive to do with human cells. In this experiment, about 30% of the stem cells became eggs and only 40% of those eggs could then be fertilized and even then, only 1% of those embryos were born alive. The reasons behind this inefficiency is not yet known. But also at the same time, it is unknown whether this would work at all in human cells. So far, we haven't succeeded in doing this completely or efficiently. The authors were also not able to fertilize with XX and XY from the same male mouse, which is great for avoiding genetic developmental defects. But the existing ones could be addressed if this research progresses. The ability to generate both sperm cells and egg cells from mammalian stem cells is a huge step forward for reproductive and fertility research. At some point in the future, after many years of trials, this could potentially allow people like male same biological sex couples, transgender people and XXY individuals to have biological children without donor eggs.